What's up, everybody? It's your favorite last member's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Silver Bolt. And as you can see, I'm having a hell of a time getting this thing to stay stuck in. In the back here, I think I'm not alone. I could be, but I don't think I am. Because it's not good in that regard. That being said, this is on loan to me from Caleb. Caleb, I will be looking at this and then hopefully being able to line up sometime to return a lot of this stuff to you. Uh, with that being said, we're going to talk about this figure. I am going to take a time out to try to put this back together uh in the meantime you take a look at an accessory i am going to save the bulk of the accessories that had to do with superion for that video just so we have something to talk about in that regard it's not really important for this figure just know that it comes with it all right so let's regroup so he does come with this kind of signature weapon it is sculpted nicely no paint and you can fold this bit in and this bit in and then you can actually uh, put that inside of Superion's gun so that it has the more proper look, which is a smart way to store it. However, I cannot seem to figure out a way to store it on Silverbolt himself. Let me try one other thing now that I see that. Uh-oh. What do we have here? Does it work? Will it work? Let's see. Oh, my God. No, it's... It's... Uh, it feels like it should, and there's no other point for that hole, so to speak. But uh, it doesn't, you know. If it doesn't, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. You know what I mean? He will hold his gun just fine, but there's just a bit of an issue with getting the hands out, and then this pin where it keeps the handle has a tendency to kind of want to flip in on you. So it's just not the most easiest thing to do in the world. But he will, he will hold it, obviously. So here is jet mode, and I think it looks pretty good when it stays stuck together, which isn't very often, but when it is stuck together, I think it looks pretty good. The gold or yellow paint is done fairly well. However, you can see here, it got outside of the lines and just, they said, uh, the hell with it, and just kept going because they didn't um, bother to fix it at all. Um, while we're here, that part does go down which is like one of the kind of iconic things about a Concord, I believe. Um, and there is a landing gear on this one, I believe. Oh, crying out loud. Right there. So this one uh, does some stuff. Did, I, did you see that right there? Okay. So other than that, uh, the only other thing that it kind of does is come undone like Duran Duran. Uh and it has no problem coming undone. It, it, its natural state is to want to come undone. It does not like staying together. It wants to come apart. Um, it's mainly this section here with the two wings that are attached to it that come off the side. Um, other than that, I think it does a pretty enough, pretty, mm, does a good enough job or does pretty well at pulling off what it's trying to be. Um, there are some paint accents and stuff underneath. We'll talk a little bit more about that in robot mode. Size comparison wise, there it is with Tiger Track, so pretty much the same size. Let's get it transformed. Let's get this undone, because it, it wants it bad. From here, let's see. Let's see what we gotta do. All right, so we gotta fold this in, and we also have to slide on this slider just take advantage of it and then fold that in and then you can split this so slide on the slider I keep doing it backward fold that in and then fold that up so that it's kind of as compact as it can be and then you can bring them around I believe I might screw this up we're, we're gonna deal with this a little later and spin this 180 now we'll deal with the legs. There's a tab here that you can see tabbed in, it's red. And there's a tab here into the back of the shoulder. Once you get those done and split at the leg here, then you can extend this leg. Open it up, flip the foot out, and flip your flaps, and then flip your flaps again. And they'll store inside the leg and it'll tab in here at the back of the heel. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. We got one tab here at the top. We got one tab in the back of the shoulder. At, once that's free, you can kind of get these, the upper body up and out of the way too. Extend the leg, flap, flap, 
heel, toe, dance with me. And then tuck this in. Easy for me to say. There it is. Tab it in. All right, so now we gotta get the chest together and the shoulders. So the chest is two sections. This white block here needs to come up and tab in. And then this red tab needs to fit inside of the back and then bring the shoulder up and connect that. Sorry for the cut there. I uh, had a bit of a catastrophic thing happen that'll be in the bloopers uh, soon on Patreon, but uh, I'll show you what happened on this one as we go through so that you don't have to go through the same thing. So, right block up, red tab in, and then shoulder up, lock in place, Extend the forearm, that'll lock in, and then the hand is connected to a white piece of plastic that you need to slide down until it kind of locks in. This one doesn't really lock in all that well. On this one, what happened was uh, this piece <laughs> flew off, and then uh, when I was trying to mess with it off camera, the hand flew off. I had a whole thing. I had to sit here and try to find the pieces, but I did find them, Caleb, rest assured. And, uh, and, then, and then you're good to go. So the only thing left to do now is the backpack. So we'll flip the head out. And this piece here, you want to flip out this little section of it. Also, make sure your nose cone is going to the side. Mine has kind of naturally done it, but I don't think I went over it yet. Flip that little piece out. That, in order to line this up, this bottom bar comes up. The top bar comes down, and then that pegs into the back there. So then we have these pieces, and those two tabs are going to go into those two ports there. And then here, we have a tab that's going to align at the bottom there. And then on this side, we have a tab that's going to align at the bottom there. And that's it. We're done. I'll clean them up. We'll take a look at them. So let's go over the figure and we'll start with the head sculpt. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic head sculpt. Looks great. The eyes look good. They're metallic blue. And then we had the silver face paint. Looks fantastic. No issues whatsoever. It's on a ball peg. Once again, we had the stuff locking in. Not great, but the head can get up to there, down to there, swivel, confused aerial bot face. Pretty good. Back out of taste. We do have paint on this shoulder. Um, and this might be a die cast piece here. I can't really tell. The shoulder itself is a universal joint. So it gets you out to 90 degrees, 360 around. There's a hinge at the top of the bicep. That's where you'll get your bicep swivel. There's also a single hinge at the elbow. Using both is not the worst, um, you know, aesthetically. And you get pretty much the full range. So that's nice. The wrist, I'll take a look at this one. They do swivel. But it's just a problem of getting it in the right spot for the for to like utilize the wrist. So that's a whole separate thing that we've kind of already gone over during transformation. Uh, but the skull work, the little line detailings and stuff, all that stuff looks good. Waist swivel. And then we have hip skirts. Ugh, God bless. Once again, like that is the Achilles heel of this set, is stuff staying put. Um... Maybe they should get back to Masterpiece scale, or they had it perfected. But maybe that's just my own bias. I'm willing to accept that. We have universals for hips. Get you the full Van Damme. I'll back out of taste. And the full Monty. And we had the red paint at the top of the hips, which is nice. Thigh swivel. We have die cast piece here. The other two did as well, and I'm not sure I mentioned it, but it is painted, and then the yellow is painted as well. Single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees. And then we have NA, uh, toe tilt. Once again, acting as an ankle, down, up, and a rocker. So no issues articulation-wise. Just the same. It's the same same issues here. Unfortunately, same same pros too. To be fair. Size comparison-wise, there he is with our usual suspects: the Hasbro Stunicon, the Old School Iron Factory Scale Blaster. There he is with New Age Optimus and New Age Megatron. And there he is with Iron Factory Tarn. And there he is with our two other aerial bots from Zeta that we just looked at recently. So I'd say pretty much they're right on target as far as where they should be and how they relate to one another in terms of size. 
Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. It's pretty much the exact same thing as all of them. It's just hard to get a lot of stuff to stay where it's supposed to be. It's hard to get the forearms to stay where they're supposed to be. It's hard to get the wrist to stay where it's supposed to be. It's hard to get most of the components of the backpack to stay where they're supposed to be. It's hard to get most of the components of the backpack to stay where they're supposed to be in jet mode too. Sheesh. Yeah, just pretty much business as usual in regard to the issues that have concerned the whole set. This one's just no exception. And I wish that the gun pegged into the nose cone. It seems like it's supposed to. I'm not sure what went wrong there. And honestly, positives wise, it's the same thing. It's the good sculpt. It's the good articulation. This one even has double jointed elbows for lack of a better term. So that helps as well. It's the nice paint on top of parts. It's the fact that they've included die cast pieces. It's the fact that the materials feel pretty good. There's a lot of character that ends up coming through as a result of all of those things sort of working in concert. And lastly, the transformation is actually pretty fun, intuitive and enjoyable. So I want to make sure that I pointed that out as well. So it is a recommend for me. I'm anxious to see how the whole thing shapes up. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.